Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we're going to check out the songs that I'd recommend that you check out for Lesson 8. I hope this video finds you safe and well. We're in the middle of the coronavirus as I'm filming this, and while that one hasn't got me yet, the hay fever certainly has. Anyways, for this lesson, I'd recommend that you break your song practice up into two sections. So five minutes of revision, just practicing songs that you've done before, making sure that you keep hip with all your regular chord grips, that you're working on the changes, and keeping a kind of repertoire on the cooker all the time. So there's songs that you can play all of the way through and that you're continuing to develop those songs as you progress. The other 10 minutes, another 10 minutes, so 15 minutes total working on songs, I would recommend that you work on some songs using these new stuck three and four chords for a whole heap of reasons. It's gonna be really good for your hand. They sound really good. There's some classic songs that use these grips. There's lots of good reasons to be working on some songs. So what are you gonna work on? Now, Wonderwall is the obvious one, but if you're going to practice Wonderwall using these chords, you want to make sure it's simplified. Trying to work on the strumming pattern, which is one of the key things in that song, it's really difficult. Even when I'm doing my left-handed practice, I can't get that rhythm together with those chords while I'm doing this. I find it too difficult, and I'm fairly good at dealing with the rhythms, even left-handed, because I really, I'm, you know, I'm very aware of what the rhythms are. So. You're probably going to find that simple, you know, a little bit complicated to do the rhythm and the chords at the same time, but there's definitely no harm in simplifying that rhythm right down and just doing very, very simple strumming, one or two strums per bar, even a couple of strums on each chord if you're doing it slow enough, that kind of thing. Uh, you'll still be able to play the song, it'll sound like it. It's, it's really good practice. So Wonderwall's definitely one that I, I would consider. Um, I really like Every Rose Has Its Thorn by Poison. It's a bit of a cheesy old tune, isn't it, from the 90s? But it's really good for practicing these particular chord grips. It stays on the chords just long enough for most of it, and then there's a few more faster changes there. Uh, when it comes to the bridge and it goes to the E minor, you can either continue using the stuck three and four chords, or you can move to using regular chords at that point. You know, it really doesn't matter whichever one you prefer the sound of. Brown Eyed Girl is another great one that you might like to have a go at, the Van Morrison classic, mainly because of the way the chords go in the chorus. It's nice to be able to use those grips, the G, the C, and the G, and the D. They're fairly fast changes, and using the stuck three and four with a regular D chord, I think, in that song sounds really good. But there are some more. Free Fallen, Tom Petty, all time, amazing classic tune, uses a regular D, a stuck three and four G chord, and then an A sus four, which is like the A stuck three and four, but with your little finger taken off. Really beautiful song. It still kind of adheres to the same principles using the stuck three and four G chord. Uh, that's a, I mean, it's just a fantastic song, so definitely a nice one to check out. Uh, Shallow, the Lady Gaga song, beautiful one ballad from A Star Is Born, the film. Uh, it's using kind of variations on those chords a little bit, but again, it's such a beautiful song. It's definitely one that you might want to give a go to. It's using the stuck three, four for the E minor and the G. Uh, Patience by Guns N' Roses, another one using the G chord with some other chords mixed in there as well. Uh, beautiful song. Good Riddance, uh, The Green Day, Time of Your Life by Green Day. That uses the, the stuck three and four for the majority of the song. Uh, it's got a little bit more fancy picking things, so, so there's some other elements that you might want to be spending some time on as well, but that's a, a, a fantastic song. And if you're into more electric guitar and rock and roll, the great song that uses these stuck three and four chords is Shot Me All Night Long by ACDC, which is really difficult to play without using these chords. It's quite possible. In fact, I think uh, Malcolm's part uses the regular chords rather than the stuck three, four chords, but that's a whole another debate. But that's another all-time classic song that you might like to check out if you want to work on your stuck three and four chords. As I mentioned before, I recommend that you break your song practice for this lesson into two parts, five minutes on revision and 10 minutes working on some of these new songs or some other songs if you've got suggestions please leave them in the comments over on the website and I'll check them out and I can add them into the lesson text. So do check the lesson text as well because I'll probably add some more songs in there and links to related lessons for you as well for these songs specifically. So I hope you enjoy all this and I'll see you for more very soon. Bye.